One, the ego is empty. It's empty. The ego is empty in that just like if I were to blow this balloon up with hot air, it would look big, it would look sophisticated, it would look proud, look like you have it all together, but really the only thing that's inside is, is air. You're empty. The human condition is so broken that naturally what we end up doing as human beings is we try to build our identity on anything other than who we are in Christ. We uh, oftentimes, you just think about it, oftentimes we'll build our identity on being a good mom or being a good dad. We'll, we'll build our identity based on the fact that we're really, really rich. None of us do that because all of us are poor, right? <laughs> You feel poor anyway, so maybe that's not you. I'm a really good business owner. I'm a really great friend. I'm a really skilled craftsman. I'm very good at my trade. And we fill, our, our, we fill ourselves up with, with this, uh, basing our identity in these other things, but what ends up happening is that uh, eventually those other things, which are less than God, they begin to be shown as less than God and that they don't really satisfy that God-sized craving that each one of us have been given. Anytime you try to build your identity on anything other than God, you end up finding that it's not sufficient. It would be like putting a few gumballs in one of these balloons and you blow it up and it just rattles around because the God-sized vacuum that each human heart has can only be filled by God himself. And so the human ego is empty. 